What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and welcome to part 3 of the Spec Op 29 task list. By the way, I do want to say I'm sorry for the delay, but it was a holiday weekend, and also I am behind because I can't collect gifts. Let me tell you, it is very frustrating to once again not be able to get that extra unstable ISO 8. Because of that, I know that many of you have passed me up, and all I can say is I'm trying my best. So please bear with me and I'll get it done as fast as I possibly can from here on out. Now of course we last left off with the research and now the inferior Weber is completed. So we'll go ahead and collect that and move on to task number 12. By the way, besides that lesser Arania piece, we do get 15,000 silver which isn't bad. And now for Armed and Spidery 12 of 25. This time we have to equip and use the inferior Weber in combat. So not too difficult, we can use this even outside of the spec up. And we're once again going to get 15,000 silver. So jumping ahead to when we have it equipped. Right now we're trying to get Beast to level 15. So we're using him. And also Spider-Man 2099. Spidey 2099 is an awesome hero, so we want to get him leveled as well. And hopefully you caught my PvP video with him. There will be more to come. Don't get me wrong, he's not incredibly OP, but he's what a character should be. Definitely usable, well thought out, and can hold his own. Now if only every hero was like that. Then you could just about make any team you wanted in PvP. But just like that, task number 12 is down and we can move on to number 13. So, Armed in Spidery 13 of 25. Defeat Scream. Scream is a mini boss of Spec Up 29 Mission 2. So, we can find her there, and hopefully, she isn't as annoying as she is in the daily mission. Alright, so we pretty much had this fight ready to go, and I believe the team up is with Spider Man Noir. He's already at level 15 for me, so he's not gaining any XP, and that I don't like. Hopefully we can really make quick work of this boss and get this task list moving. I also want to do an All Hell the King episode later on. And of course there will be a podcast. So we'll see how quickly we can take these guys down. First of all, let's flank the bottom brute. And then we'll attack him with the Blade of the Guardian. Unfortunately we miss. And so the follow up does as well. Now we already know that symbiotes can hit these guys and have no problem whatsoever. But I've also seen comments about things like the Manvantara. It ignores avoidance effects and can cause staggered. So staggered is another great debuff for these enemies. Honestly they do annoy me but not that much. When it really comes down to it, I'm just going to use whatever heroes I need XP with and not really worry about them. Sure, I may complain about them, but that doesn't take much. I'm more worried about my daily gifts. Oh, and the arachnid components have a terrible drop rate. So if PD fixes both of those things, I'll be happy. By the way, one other side effect from my daily gifts being broken is I can't take any new allies. I can't even see the requests. So I do apologize for that as well. But it's something that's completely out of my hands. So just know that if and when that gets fixed, I will accept your ally request. Alright, well this mini boss is a your history away from death. So let's take her down with Spidey 2099. And following that, we'll get to move on to task number 14. First though, we get 1200 XP, and now we can move on. Armed in Spidery 14 of 25 says use three distress calls. So you can only use one per fight, but just make sure you use them. I often forget once I'm on a task like this. I think that everyone probably knows how to do this, but I'll show you my final fight. And I actually was proud that I didn't forget to use one in any fight. So we got it done in three straight battles. Oh, by the way, you should be able to do this in any mission, as I believe I'm in Chapter 9 right here. 
So there's our distress call friend and he drops an enemy with a Coulson's Revenge. Now we only have to finish the top muscle and that's it. We're going to get credit. Remember though for this task you have to do a total of three distress calls. And now with that task completed we can move on to number 15. We do get 1200 XP though once again. Now armed and spidery, 15 of 25 is Unbridled Carnage. We have to defeat Carnage who is the boss of Spec Up 29 Mission 2. And once you do this you unlock Mission 3. Now I believe we were lucky and we're ready to take him down once again. But we will show his dialogue first. All these spiders everywhere. This is like the best smorgasbord anybody ever thought of. Slow down Toothy, these spiders all bite back. That just revs me up baby, let's get biting. Alright, well for this fight we'll bring in Spidey2099 over Beast. Also, since this is a very lengthy fight, we'll speed up the first boring part against these webhead thugs. Then we'll get to the good part, Venom and Carnage. So, like always with these guys, there's some hits and misses. They get a ton of turns whenever you miss. And we eventually take them down. Then after that, we get to take on Venom in his amazing monster form. In other words, Venom as we know and love him. Still, this is some of the best artwork in this game, hands down. And after he uses Symbiote Shield, he uses one of the coolest abilities along came of Venom. So I actually don't mind getting hit with that one just to see it. Following that, we'll use our level 9 Hard Rock. And we've taken him way down in his health. We even get a follow up attack so he's easily going to be knocked out by the Blade of the Guardian. Now on to Carnage who's going to be a little bit more annoying. But if you're ever having any problems just use items. Everything from Chrono Accelerators to heals and debuffs. You should be just fine. You can also always bring in one of those distress calls so remember that. One other good thing is Spider Gwen is a bruiser so she's going to get enraged. This means she's going to start doing some pretty nice damage. And then on her turn we'll use Bring the House Down followed by our level 1. This is actually kind of impressive because Spider Gwen, she's not exactly a powerhouse all the time. Here though she's not Carnage down quite a bit and put him well within our range. So we take him out with the Blade of the Guardian. Following that, we do get a decent score and 140 XP. More importantly though, we complete task number 15. Like I said before, that unlocks mission 3 and also gives us our next blueprint. Now we have to research the Tattered Gloves. This task kind of led me to quite a few problems, so I'll address those really quick. First of all, despite doing every deploy, and running mission 1 through twice and mission 2 once. We didn't have a single arachnid component for this. So that's a terrible drop rate number 1. Number 2, I ended up running mission 2 through completely again. Taking all my unstable ice away out. And still didn't get a component. So ultimately I bought one for 3 gold. I'm sorry but that's pretty unacceptable and they need to definitely increase the drop rate. Of course now since I spent all my unstable isolate I then had to wait until I gained some back. At first this actually slipped my mind but then when I went to the research page I saw oh yeah that's right we need 40 unstable isolate. So I had to wait until the next day and now we're going to go ahead and finally begin it. There's the tattered gloves, they take 1 day, 40 unstable ice weight, and 5,000 silver. So we'll start that research, and we'll be back with part 4 very soon. I really do want to thank everyone who took the time to watch this video. Thank you very much. And I also want to ask you to please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.